Remove the battery. Loosen the captive P1 Phillips head screw that secures the memory mini PCI cover to the bottom of the notebook. Use your finger or a flat bladed tool to lift the outside edge of the memory mini PCI cover and remove it. Remove the two T8 9mm screws that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel fully. Slide the four plastic locking tabs toward the bottom edge of the keyboard to unlock the keyboard from the LED switch cover. Use a flat bladed tool or your finger to lift the top edge of the keyboard and then place it upside down on the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar to unlock the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard ribbon cable from the ZIF connector and remove the keyboard. After ensuring that the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector is unlocked, place the keyboard right side up on the top cover. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board. Important, use care to prevent damaging the keyboard ribbon cable. Push the locking bar down to lock the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board. Tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the top cover. Press the keyboard flat and slide the four plastic locking tabs toward the rear of the notebook to lock the keyboard to the LED switch cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the two T8 9mm screws that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Tow the memory mini PCI cover into the enclosure. Tighten the captive P1 Phillips head screw 